Hey, 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 what's going on everyone? This is Warren from the Rhapsody Piano Studio. Uh, welcome to today's free live uh, piano lesson. Uh, today we're going to be, or I'm going to be showing you how to play much needed advice from Pixar Disney Coco. So um, much needed so, advice, something that we all Pixar. need from time to time. All right, um, just did a quick mic check. And I think we're good, all right. Uh, it's weird. The angle's a little strange. Anyway, um, I can never get this right with this iPhone. All right, that looks good. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Anyway, so uh, if you want the video tutorial, uh, I make sure uh, you know after the live stream is over, of course, um, make sure to pick up the sheet music in the cards, and video tutorials also provide for you so you can study with it after this live stream is over. Okay, um, let me straighten out this camera real quick. Okay, that looks better. All right, here we go. So, much needed advice. We're going to start with the uh, beginning intro. where it starts okay so if you haven't seen the movie <laughs> who are you where you been awesome movie um yeah, it's pretty th this song is really really cool i love it a lot uh all right so let's break this down beginning we have okay so basically just like a g major chord going into d major and then starts all right so let's play that together. Ready, go. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. All right, next part. Now from here, it says to play it slightly faster. Uh, so like the beginning four measures that I did play for you, it's a little bit slower, moderately, expressively, it says. Definitely recommend practicing with a metronome so you don't uh, tie those two rhythms, you don't confuse them together or anything like that, right? All right, um, yeah, so play with the metronome so you get used to play these measures at different speeds. Now from here, slightly faster. <laughs> Uh, this part is really cool because what they're doing there is basically trying to imitate um, the guitar and you know that, that's what pianists try to do in general, imitate a lot of other instruments, maybe people singing and it's a really cool effect. I like this a lot. Totally to me, like you know, it, it, they, they really nailed it with this, um, this arrangement. Okay, so let's break that up. It's just this pattern. Okay. So that's kind of the, the main rhythm, rhythmic pattern throughout this uh, entire song, okay? Okay, and then they just take it in different uh, different harmonies. A minor, and then D major seventh, okay? If you, if for you, for you theory buffs, if you know what I'm talking about, okay. Uh, I'm gonna play it, let, you know, I'm gonna play it up to where it says freely, okay? Let's just go up to freely. I'm sorry, I went a little, little bit ahead. Now, oh, let's try that together. Ready, go. Okay, now from freely, the reason why I stopped there is because it's pretty obvious you can play this freely. Uh, so it, there's really no guidelines. You don't have to play it in uh, like on beat, like steady rhythm or anything like that. Although you do still want to be practicing with a metronome so you don't go overboard with this part. So 
I'll give you some ways of practices. Uh, you know, all different kinds of combinations, by the way. So we're going to start with a, a telerondo, accelerating it, getting faster. All right, you could also do a retardando. All right, and then just, you know, practice all these different ways. I mean, there's, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can do a telerondo and then a retardando or a retardando and then a telerondo. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here is an telerondo into a retardando. <laughs> No, it didn't come out, right? Or so you do a retardando into a telerondo. Really weird, I know, but um, it, it, I'm not saying to play it like that. You're gonna practice it like that. So then it, it, it really, uh, when you're able to, you, you know, you're playing it well, um, of course you have to practice it, but then if you want to do it freely, you should practice all these different patterns, it, it'll come more naturally to you, okay? All right, so that's this entire intro. Um, let's go all the way to close. They don't have measure, they never have measure numbers. It drives me crazy with some of these books. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go all the way to close. Sorry, not close, but close. A feeling so close. All the way from the beginning. Here we go. Let's try it together. Ready? Go. <laughs> Slightly faster. And freely. Close, right? Yeah, anyway, uh, the freely thing is cool because, uh, you know, honestly, even when I play it, I, I do it differently every single time, too, you know, so. But definitely the, the type of practice I just mentioned, that's what got me there. All right, now let's get into the actual song. Close. Um, let me see how I split this up. I'm gonna play it. So I think that's where I would stop. Only a song, okay? Uh, let's break the section down. So close, you can reach. You gotta be careful here when you get to reach because uh, it's gonna be a, not a lot, but there are some uh, rhythm changes, okay? Uh, actually, it's only two places where it goes into, or from what I can see, uh, where it goes into 4-4. Four, four. So this, this song is basically in 3-4, meaning three quarter notes per measure, three beats per measure. So when you get to reach, it, it, it's kind of abrupt, it's a, little, it's a little odd, so you really need to practice that carefully, right? Goes into 4-4 four, four and reach. So let me count it so you know what I'm talking about. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Touch it, right? So that, that's a little, um, a little different than what people might be used to, okay? All right, we're gonna go all the way to one measure after true. So much, but it's true. Um, maybe we'll, actually we'll just stop at true, yeah. All right, let me play that part for you. Okay, and then that measure is even more weird. This remember that, right? So that measure in true. Now they're turning turning that into four beats, four over four. That that one measure. So uh, I, it's cool because. Um, let me go back at the beginning where it says flat, slightly faster because it's the same pattern. They're just changing the, the rhythm so you can really hear how it's different. So here's what it is in the beginning. Right? One, two, three. Right? Here's where it is true. One, two, three. Ah, oh, that's weird. One, two, three, four. Sorry, I didn't count that right. Sorry, one, two. One, two. That's even tripping me up a little bit. So uh, let me play that again. So here's in three. One, two, I'm not even gonna count, there we go. Okay, now here's in 4-4. Four, four. I didn't do that right, 4-4, four, four, one more time. Yeah, I don't, that's really bugging me today. Okay, anyway, um, so that, that's what's going on in that measure. All right, let's try it all together. Close, you can reach out and then to, but it's true, okay? Okay, now 
now from there, uh, that whole guitar thing is another trend. It's like, yeah, I would consider that a transition. Uh, this little transition part going all the way to only a song, okay? And then back in three here, three beats. Then only a song. We have a triplet there. Okay, so let's play that part again. Okay, let's try that together. I'm from true, we'll go a little slower. Ready, go. From only a song, let's see how far we should go. I'm just gonna play from here. Sorry. So I was all right there. It, it, basically, after that, that this like just intro, right? Um, not a lot going on. If you if you seen the movie, he's basically or if you haven't seen it too i'm not really not really too much of a spoiler he's he's watching his hero on tv and this is kind of a scene from it anyway uh let's play that together from only a song right triple it here triple it here and then power to change some the same thing triple it here the finger i'm using here change a heart i'm just doing two four and two five okay anyway all right only a song Ready, go. Last part from where I just stopped. Sorry, no measure numbers, but I'm on um, the last page here. Okay. Right. Okay, so you hear that little guitar riff come back at the end. Anyway, all right, so from here. Now we have uh, thirds in here. So thirds basically, you know, two notes, three keys apart. Okay. Uh, this this could be a little awkward. I use some pedal to connect that. And then, right. that's how it sounds without pedal. Uh, I use pedal because you want to make it sound as legato as possible, right? So. Triplets here too. I use five, three, four, two, one, three, right? And then I switch to one, two here. Okay, so let me play that last section for you one more time. So a little retardando at the end as well. Um, uh, I've said this a lot of times in you know, my past lessons, but make sure when you're practicing a retardando that you can play it straight through first, that you can play it in exact tempo before choosing to do anything like doing a retardando or a telerondo, sofredondo, <laughs> whatever, all those ondos, right? Anyway, uh, let's play this last section together, okay? Ready, set, go. that's it for today's lesson this is a really short one um it's like three pages so if you're looking to pick up some cocoa music uh this is a good song to play i think it's cool all right uh 
I'm gonna play for you one time from the beginning so you can kind of hear how it sounds. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna play no perfect or anything, but the live performance, right? That's another option. You can hold these two notes, it gets a little bit more uh, uh, resonance, right? More sound, right? And then if you do this too, a good, a good way to practice is just to practice the whole thing without any pedal so you, you don't really come to depend on it so much and see which places you can kind of create that effect. Anyway, let's, uh, I'm going to play for you one time from the beginning since it's so short, okay? Uh, of course, you want to listen to the entirety anytime, of course, links in the description and, and also the cards, right? <laughs> Okay, so uh, one last bit of advice before I end today's lesson. In anytime you can, it's a good idea to watch the, and listen to the original music. So of course, this is not written for a piano, and it's not supposed to be not supposed to be played on a piano. Uh, so if you if you watch the entire scene, I mean, you'll get to listen to it in like the way it's supposed to sound. I guess you know, like if if it's like playing like something like "Ode to Joy" on piano. <laughs> It is not the same as hearing the actual recorded uh, live or live performance or whatever, like a performance of Ode to Joy where you hear like all those singers and then you hear the symphony and all that too. What's cool about this is you also see the scene at the same time. So you do not necessarily need to just study it on piano. You can watch the whole scene. That's also kind of studying it in a way as well. So I recommend doing a little bit of both. Anyway, that's it for today's lesson. Uh, thanks for joining me today. I uh, hope you got a lot out of this. If you have any requests for future, just hit me up in the comment section below. But I will see you guys for the next lesson, which is going to be on Saturday. Hope to catch you guys all there. And happy practicing.